Hi there and welcome to our second video on microscopy. In our previous video we looked at the theory of microscopy and in this video we are going to be putting our understanding into action. We are going to be looking at some exam questions. So let's get started. Our first exam question states, the image below shows part of a root from a crest plant. What type of microscope was used to create the image above? There's a clue over here. As you can see, it says times 200 magnification. And that plays a really important role in here. Only electron microscopes can go that high and you won't be able to see an image this close from a light microscope. Another clue is a light microscope gives you an image with color. But an electron microscope gives you an image with black and white. So the simple answer to this would be an electron microscope. And that will give you your one mark. Next, the cheek cell in figure 2 is magnified 250 times. The width of the cell is shown by line D to E this line over here complete the width of the cheek cell in micrometers complete the following steps measure the width of the cell using a ruler be careful of your units here is asking for your units to be in millimeters so your answer has to be in millimeters as well i've got it measured over here uh, this line over here is 45 millimeters but you would just use a ruler to measure that line Use the equation to work out the real width of the cell in millimeters. So in millimeters again. So we've, we're given the equation over here. Remember the magnif is being magnified 250 times. Yeah. So uh, we would do our 45, the image size over here, 45. And we would divide it by 250 and that would give us 0 0.18. Remember, this is in millimeters and is being magnified 250 times, so our answer will be in millimeters as well. So it would be 0 0.18 millimeters. But then it's asking us to convert our millimeters answer to micrometers, and over here we just times it by a thousand, and we would get uh, 180 uh, micrometers. And those correct three answers would give you three marks. Next question. Figure one shows a human cheek cell viewed under a light microscope. Label the nucleus and cell membrane uh, on figure one. This should be simple. Over here you can see the nucleus. You would just label this uh, the nucleus. And remember a cell membrane is the outer layer. So over here, this over here would be the cell membrane. Remember, this is not a plant cell, so you won't have a cell wall. So you would know that the outer uh, shell would be the cell membrane. So next part, ribosomes and mitochondria are not shown in figure one. Uh, what type of microscope is needed to see ribosomes and mitochondria? As we discussed in our previous video, Mitochondria and ribosomes are too small to see with a light microscope. We would need to use an electron microscope to view them. So our answer would be the electron microscope. And correctly labeling these two uh, organelles would give you your first two marks. And for electron microscope, that will give you your one mark. Next question, what is the advantage of using the type of microscope you named in part C? So remember we named an electron microscope and now it's asking for an advantage of an electron microscope. So remember the advantages that we discussed in our previous video was that it had a higher magnification and a higher resolution. And the disadvantages were it wasn't portable because it was really big and it would be really uh, really expensive so our answer is clear it would have a higher magnification 
because it would be really expensive and it has a higher resolution not lower and that will give you your own mark next and final question is a four marker so it's asking you to compare the advantages and disadvantages of light microscopes and electron microscopes so i'm going to state them over here electron microscopes higher ma have a higher magnification microscopes have a higher magnification that would be your first mark and they have a higher uh, higher resolution as well that would be that that would give you two marks so far but remember it's four marks it's asking you for four answers so you can e uh, examine uh, you you would be able to um, examine um, the surface uh, the surface of the cells cells plus the structures the structures and the key thing here in more detail because even a mic uh, uh, even a light microscope uh, can examine those structures but the fact that the electron microscope can examine those features in more detail would give you the mark and light microscopes um, can examine living cells and ele um, electron microscopes cannot remember that for electron microscope the specimen must be dead so um light microscopes uh, can examine uh, living cells one thing i will say over here um remember when you're giving your four points you cannot contradict two points so if I was to say light microscopes can examine living cells and that would give you one mark. But for the second point, if you put um, uh, li uh, electron microscopes cannot examine living cells. Well, that's obvious because you've just said light microscopes can examine living cells. If you do, uh, if you do say that electron microscopes uh, cannot examine living cells, it would not give you the mark. So remember not to contradict your points uh, and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe and hit the like button